the numbers be literacy? Let's dive into that on today's episode of Everyday Literacy, a series where I look at our practical applications of literacy. When we hear the word literacy, we usually think of reading and writing. But what about numbers? We scroll past graphs, polls, and statistics every day. If we can't read them critically, we're not just missing math, we're missing meaning. Educational philosopher John Dewey argued that democracy depends on an informed public, people capable of interpreting information and making decisions based on evidence. In the 21st century, that means not just reading words, but reading data. Data literacy means understanding what numbers say and what they don't say. A statistic without context can mislead just as easily as a quote out of context. When someone says crime rates are up 20%, a literate reader asks up from what? Over how long? Who collected that data? Just like language, numbers carry bias and perspective. They can persuade, obscure, or reveal truth depending on how they're framed. So yes, numbers can be literacy. Because literacy isn't just about decoding letters, it's about making sense of the symbols that shape our world. And today, the world speaks in data. So the real question is, are we listening carefully to understand it? 